Jane Stewart. Hello, I'm looking for some lightweight, soft-sided luggage. May I point out features that should be checked carefully, like the zipper, the handle. Very sturdy. Now look at the construction. Of course, the wheel should operate smoothly. I'll take the Samsonite. Excellent. Or just look for this feature, and you'll be assured it has all the others. You know how you can't understand the words on those rock music stations? And those sleepy instrumental stations don't even have words. There's only one station that specializes in songs to sing along with. It's WLAK 94 FM. WLAK is a great way to relax without hard rock or boring elevator music. You get all songs in a row by Streisand, Diamond, Mathis, Richie, and more with less talk. You'll love the difference of 94 FM WLAK. Songs to sing along with every day. Going for the top. Thirsting for the best in life. Only one thing can satisfy you. Getting there. And only one beer. The world's best. Come to think of it, I'll have a Heineken. Heineken. Satisfy your thirst for the best. Now what are you eating? Popcorn. You want some? No, thanks. I'm on a diet. Come on, you two. We've got to decide. Oh, the movie. Um, we're not good. Well, I can't... Three-way calling from Illinois Bell is a great way to get the gang together before you get together. Oh, Friday. Yeah, Friday's good. Sounds good to me. Mm -hmm. Friday's great. Show's the movie. I've already seen it. Oh. <laughs> you guys, I'm just kidding. Very Keeping in touch is a touch easier with three-way calling. No two ways about it. When the going gets strange, oh good, he gets even stranger. Ah! A Gonzo broadcast debut. Where am I? Where the buffalo rolls. Coming next month from Universal Pictures Debut Network. And now the conclusion of Vertigo. Hey, Diddle Diddle. A cat with a fiddle picked a handy new value pack. Three bonus fries, large Coca-Cola, and McDonald's great Big Mac. Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, three men with a tub pick three different value packs. Two seventy-nine with McDLT, two sixty-nine quarter pounder with cheese or Big Mac. So little Jack Horner, get out of your corner. Get McDonald's value pack. But Jack be nimble. Jack be quick when the offer ends. That's it. Before you settle for basic transportation, how'd you like to own a car like this? Fuel injected, overhead cam, five speed, four wheel independent suspension. This is the all new 1987 Nissan Sentra Sport Coupe. Bye bye basics. Hello, Sentra. The name is Nissan, America's number one selling import car. And wherever in the world I may be, you keep calling me, it's a feeling. And no matter where I've been, where I go, you keep calling me home. Chicago, your open arms, your simple charms, your people, I found no one. from in America. Chicago is your hometown. Jenny? Come home. It's a feeling that calls me. Hold it. Chicago <laughs> is calling me home. Tonight's special feature, Vertigo, was brought to you in part by Chrysler Plymouth. The pride is back. 
Visit your Chrysler Plymouth dealer for America's best values. Burger King, come in for breakfast and enjoy a mouth-watering croissant sandwich. And UPS, whether it's for overnight letters or packages, UPS runs the tidy ship in the shipping business. Cicero agrees to comply with the federal plan to end racial discrimination in that suburban community. Two injuries and big commuter tie-ups after an Amtrak train derails near Union Station. Also tonight, a World War I photo album believed to be Adolf Hitler's has turned up in Illinois and a preview of Chicago's newest home for some of NASA's most prized positions. We will have those stories and more next on a late edition of the 9 o'clock news. Plunkett Furniture's 55th anniversary sale is now underway. Plunkett showrooms feature over 100 inspiring room settings of both traditional and contemporary collections. Come celebrate and enjoy store-wide savings from 20 to 35 percent, plus an extra bonus of 12 months free of interest and service charges for any purchase made during this anniversary sale. Affordable elegance is here. Plunkett Furniture's 55th anniversary sale is now underway at eight convenient Chicagoland locations. At UPS, it was never our intention to become a tourist attraction. But every year, scores of efficiency-minded Japanese businessmen show up and ask to tour our facilities. You see, UPS is so efficient, we can deliver next day air usually for half what other companies charge. Which is why so many Japanese find UPS the most rewarding package tour anywhere. UPS, we run the tightest ship in the shipping business. Sometimes you feel a little Mexican. And when you feel a little Mexican and want to have a good time, come to Chi Chi's Mexican restaurant for chajitas. Steak, chicken, or shrimp with fresh vegetables sizzling on a blackened skillet. Chi Chi's, when you feel a little Mexican. Do you think effective antacid medicine can taste good? Sure, when it's Remigel. Tastes better than any antacid I've ever tried. What a job it does on my heartburn. Hey, no chalky taste and liquid relief in every Remigel tablet. I never thought an antacid could taste this good and work. New great tasting Remigel. Soft and chewy with the same effective relief for acid indigestion and heartburn as two teaspoons of the leading liquid. Relief never tasted so good. New Remigel. Liquid relief in every great tasting tablet. The Cubs wind up their current homestand when they battle the Giants tomorrow afternoon at 1 on Channel 9. This is the 9 o'clock news with Rick Rosenthal, Pat Harvey, Tom Skilling, and Bob Hillman, Chicago's very own 9 o'clock news team. Good evening. It took three years to reach, but there is an unprecedented agreement tonight between the United States Department of Justice and the village of Cicero, an agreement aimed at ending discrimination in that west suburban town. Under the terms of a consent decree, Cicero must adopt a fair housing resolution and develop a job training program to help minorities find jobs there. Christine Negroni has the story. Cicero has 65,000 residents, less than 1% of them black. After three years fighting a federal lawsuit charging discrimination against blacks, village leaders have promised they'll change their ways. The promise didn't come easily. Some on the usually unanimous board of trustees didn't want to vote immediately on a pact they'd received from village president Henry Klozak just 24 hours earlier. People in the meeting room felt similarly. We're acting hasty. A short uh, period of time, a week or two, is not going to make a difference, I'm sure. And I think that uh, this board should react in that manner. He's been sitting on that bill for three years. He gives them 24 hours to make up their minds. That is my problem. Can we ever in Cicero hear about what's going to happen with our future? Does always some guy in power have to come down and shove something down our throat? The board's vote for the agreement pleased U.S. Attorney Anton Volukas. We have an important degree in, in place which will help solve some of those difficulties. I think we want to work with the city of Cis or with the town of Cicero to help bring about an open community. Though the trustees didn't know specifics, by their votes they promised to advertise the village as an open community and then live up to the name by providing housing and employment information and rental assistance money. 
it must do away with a law that limits city jobs to city residents. Like the village trustees who admit their ignorance about the details of the agreement, there are some residents of Cicero who are concerned because though they don't know how, they do know for sure that the settlement will change things here. I'm Christine Negroni, WGN News. The Justice Department's lawsuit against Cicero was the first ever filed by the federal government against any municipality charging discrimination in both housing and employment. Pat? Well, in other news tonight, Amtrak officials are looking for the cause of a train derailment this afternoon just north of Union Station. No one was seriously injured in the accident, however. Steve Sanders has more. The 146-passenger train had embarked on a 2,000-mile trip to Seattle. It had yet to complete even the first mile before two of the train's nine cars jumped the tracks. Fortunately, there were only two injuries, both minor. We're glad to report that none were seriously injured. One of our passengers was taken to the hospital uh, for shortness of breath. A second victim, an Amtrak employee, is thought to have sprained an ankle. The remaining passengers were moved to the upright cars on the train and sent back to Union Station. With two out of three sets of rails blocked, the accident meant delays of up to one hour for some 15,000 west and northwest bound commuters. Well, what happened? Did you tell us what happened? Yeah, I, I thought they had told Here at Union me. Station, yeah, the situation was chaotic as anxious Milwaukee Road commuters prepared for a long wait. Well, I'm normally going to be on the uh, 455 